Hey, what is up guys, I Device Help here, and in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a few applications that are just amazing, and I put a list together to share those with you guys, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy these. Now, these are going to be all free, and they're going to be all in the links down below in case you want to download them. So now, the first application I want to share with you guys is Apple TV Remote. If you haven't heard of it yet, and you own an Apple TV, this is an app that you may want to download, because if you're like me, the one thing that you always lose around the house is your Apple TV Remote. So this application is free from Apple, and you can use many aspects of the Apple TV with this application. You have your keyboard here to input text. You also have the ability to use Siri right here at the bottom. Also input dictation using the remote as well. You can turn off your Apple TV, browse through the menu back and forth, play and pause, whatever you need to do with your Apple TV. All the controls are here. Now, no longer we have to be looking for the remote. It's right there. When you sit down to watch TV, just pull your phone out of your pocket. And there it is. So Apple TV Remote, why not check it out? It's absolutely free and it's a very useful app. Now the next application I want to share with you guys goes by the name of Prisma. Now the reason I'm sharing this one is because you guys have asked me on my social networks, how do I apply those cool filters on my photos? And this is the application that I'm using. Like I mentioned, it is free, but it applies a very unique filters. So let me put this Apple logo here into frame and take a photo of it just to share with you guys some of the filters and how the app works. Once you take the photo, select the filter from right below here. They add new filters every time. And as you can see, they're very unique, which is what's so special about this application and why I use it, because it doesn't apply just the standard filters that you find on all the apps that offer filters. These are very, very unique. There is premium version for this application, but I think you guys are gonna find the free version, which is the one that I use, very interesting and very cool. So go ahead and check it out, links down below. Now the next application I wanna share with you guys is by Google, and it's called Google Allo. Now, if you use iMessage on the iPhone, you know that it is limited to iPhone and iOS users. But Google Allo is cross-platform. It works on Android and iOS, super easy to install, and it's free. So once you download the application, all you have to do is launch it, enter your phone number, and you get a four-digit PIN, enter the PIN, and that's it. No username, nothing else to do in order to install this application. Now, at the bottom right, you have the bubble here where you can start composing the text. And this, once you tap on that bubble, it brings up all your contacts. And if the person that you're trying to contact does not have the application, it'll send them an invite. They can set it up. Again, it's not going to take more than two minutes. And it also works from iPhone to iPhone as well, of course. Now, it does come preloaded with Google Assistant, which is a total plus. Google Assistant is a very, very intelligent service that allows you to get things done within this application. So if you want to invite a friend for dinner, Google Assistant will do it right then and there. You have the power of Google built into the application. You can send stickers just like you can an iMessage, little scribbles and things like that. It's a lot of fun. But the Google Assistant makes this application a whole different experience. I recommend you guys go ahead and check it out, especially being free inside of the App Store. Now, if you download Allo, you might as well download Duo, which is also by Google and it's also free. It's the same concept, the same way to set up, but it is a video message. So it's like FaceTime, cross-platform as well. The last application on this list goes by the name of Jungle Private Browser. Now this browser is very, very useful and I use it a lot because it allows you to download content inside of the application so you can watch it later. So say you're going on a flight and you want to watch the Apple Keynote. Well, you can go to Apple's website. Once it brings you to Apple's website, you can find the Keynote, click play, and when you click play, it allows you to download the video. Click yes, and it's going to start downloading that video for you. Now, you can use this video and watch it at a later time. As you can see there, the download progress is very, very fast. And it's going to allow you to watch that video on a later time. So if you're going on a flight, this is very, very useful. You can also download other sorts of media if you wish to do so with this application as well. So here you guys have it. That about brings it into this video. I thought these apps were very, very useful, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy using them. If you enjoyed this video, like always, don't forget to leave a like. That way I know to make more of these videos for you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.